Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. In a semicircle, draw a chord with a length of 6. Draw another chord with a length of 6 and a third chord with a length of 14. The question is to solve for the radius of the semicircle. I adapted this problem from a tweet by Bilal Sarameshli. Pause if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. We'll get started by drawing a chord to connect the two chords that have a length of 6. Because these two chords have equal length, the angles opposite them will have equal measure. Therefore, the arcs that correspond to these inscribed angles will also have the same measure. Now draw this chord of the semicircle. The inscribed angles will correspond to equal arcs and therefore they will have equal measure equal to theta. Next, the semicircle will have a diameter of 2 times its radius. An inscribed angle in a semicircle will have a 90 degree measure and be a right angle. Therefore, sine of theta will be equal to 6 over 2r. We'll draw another chord. This is also an inscribed angle of the semicircle, therefore it's a right angle. Consequently, cosine of 2 theta will be equal to 14 over 2r. We can now focus on these two equations. Cosine of 2 theta will be equal to 1 minus 2 times the sine squared of theta, and we can get sine squared of theta from the second equation. We also multiply the second equation by 2, and then we can substitute into the first equation. We now multiply both sides by 2r squared, and then simplify this quadratic equation. Since the radius has to be greater than 0, we get the solution that r is equal to 9. And that's the answer to this problem. I love how this seemingly simple geometry problem leads to a quadratic equation and a fittingly nice answer. Thanks for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. As always, thanks for watching and thanks for your support.